Hello there beauty, it's your girl Eunice Marie here and today we are going to be doing a review and demo of the CoverGirl True Naked Peach Punch Eyeshadow Palette. I was inside of CVS and I saw this one along with the chocolate uh, palette and I really wanted to know if this smelled like peaches. That's really how they willed me in. Also, it, had, it has really great colors, really pretty colors from neutrals to something more dramatic. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure you also click the notification button so that you are notified when I upload. So let's first start off with what this palette is all about. So you get eight shade ranges um, from neutral to something a little bit more dramatic. I got mine for $12.99 in CVS but I had a coupon so it went down to probably like nine bucks so you can get a deal on this in your local drugstore Target uh, CVS Walgreens so you definitely can find a deal on this bad boy and get it for under 10 as far as scent it does smell like peaches so I have to give CoverGirl thumbs up all the way for that because it does smell like peaches now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these colors for you guys before we jump into the demo All right, you guys, let's go ahead and let's get into the makeup tutorial. So we're first gonna start with the eye area and I'm going to first prime my eyes with a little bit of a base and what I'm going to be using is a Wet n Wild color correction wheel. And I'm gonna use this color, this white here in the color correction wheel. And I'm going to just go ahead and apply that to my lid. Okay, so for my inner crease color, I'm going to be using uh, this color here. All right. And then for a lid color, I'm going to be using this pretty peachy color here. This is probably like one of my favorite colors out of the whole palette. Love it. I'm going to use that and apply that to the rest of the lid. Then for the crease color, I'm going to go into this brown here. And I'm going to apply that into my crease area. They're super powdery though. Okay, you guys, and then I'm going to actually do something a little bit different. I'm going to actually use um, one of these as a blush for my cheeks. So it's pretty cool to kind of double up with some of your uh, blushes and use them as a, I mean, your eyeshadows, use them as a blush. So we're going to take, which one should I use? I want to use the same color that I used on my eyelid. So I'm going to test that out with a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to put it onto my cheek area. And I think this has a little bit of highlighter too from the It's My Ray Ray palette. Not bad actually. Hmm. Alright you guys, so let's go ahead and let's jump into how I feel about this palette. Well, first question first, does it smell like peaches? And I will say yes, thumbs up all the way, it smells exactly like peaches. Quality wise, quality wise at first, it really didn't sit too well with me um, because it is a little, some of the colors are powdery. So when applying it, 
they did come off a little chalky but I do notice that as it is sitting on the actual skin and it is kind of I guess melting or blending in with this with the heat of the body it looks a lot better and they don't look as patchy as it did in the beginning uh once again I would suggest using a I would suggest using a primer with this. Don't just think you can take this straight off of here and just put it onto the eyelid. It's not one of those. This does require a primer of some sort or either concealer. So I would definitely say put something down on the lid before applying the shadow. All in all, I do think that it is a great palette for drugstore choice. You guys can, you know, mix and match it um, in many different ways here, as well as on the back part of it. You guys know it has a lot of guides. So if you're a newbie with makeup, this is really helpful to show you or to help you to build a basic eye. And especially with all the directions on the back of this on how you can build an eye using these colors, I think it's very helpful if you are a newbie and you just want to build a basic eye or a dramatic eye with a little bit of guidance, this palette definitely gives it to you. I think this is pretty fun um, for the fact of that it smells like peaches and I like the fact that I'm able to go from something that is neutral to something that's a little bit more deeper in this palette. So all in all, I give this palette a thumbs up. With that being said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your